Hello, teachers, and welcome back to a new year. Brad Shreffler here, glad to be back, excited to get started with things again, and here with another tutorial video to help you out. This video is actually going to be an example of an introduction video to give you both a way to use Principles Corner and how we'll use this course, but also to show you how your introduction video might look like for your own students. So when doing an introduction video for your students of your course, the first step is going to be to make sure you're in student view. If you're not in student view, you're showing them something different with the, than what they will actually see. So we want to make sure we start by being in student view. Next, once we're in the student view, we're going to be able to scroll down and show them how our course looks. So I'll say, hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Brad Schreffler. I'm going to be your teacher this year. And here is an example of our front page. This is what our front page is going to look like. This tutorial video will be right here. You have my contact information. I love for you guys to email me. Also, your parents are able to email me anytime. And on the bottom, we'll have these general course resources. This is going to show you uh, some tutorials and where you might find some information. It'll point you to some other videos and other resources like that down at the bottom. For class, pretty much everything you're going to want to find is going to be in the module section. So once you go into modules, You will see the overview of what our first unit is. You'll notice the unit name and the starting date that that unit starts on here. It'll have a unit overview, which will explain what the unit is going to cover, the different activities we'll be doing, the standards and things like that. And then by date or by topic, you'll see a header and then the information that goes with it all in order. So if you view any of these pages, you click on the first one. Then you'll see the overview page. This will give you, again, an idea of what the unit is we're working on, some of the material we might be covering, a general overview, as well as a schedule day by day, and then links to the activities that you'll do each of those days. This page will get updated as we go through a unit. Then, in the bottom right, you'll have a Next button. Once you've read this material, you can click Next. And that'll take you to the intro, the start of the first activity. That will show you the content. If you have a video available, you can click that, and that will open the video larger. And then again, when you're done with this page, you can click Next and go to the next page. This is how you can actually get through all of the content in your course, show students how to use it, where they might find things. You might also take a second to show them where the grades are because that will show them their grades. You want to make sure they can see those and see an example of what that material looks like as well. Um, in this case, I'm in student view, so there won't be a lot to look at because he hasn't done any assignments as a fake student. But you'll see the assignment, that it's unsubmitted, and that he doesn't have a grade currently, but that will update as we go. I hope this video gave you an idea of how you might use an introduction video and also how you might make one once you have Canvas Studio running. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you can always reach out to me, bradley.schreffler.ocps.net, and I hope everyone has a wonderful school year. I can't wait for us to start and see the amazing things we're going to do this year.